Hey, what's up? Am I here at Laguna Beach about to go searching for some nudibranchs? I know two things about nudibranchs. They're colorful and they're sea slugs. Oh, and they're tiny. Some are super tiny. That's my pointer finger and that's the nudibranch. Zoom out and it disappears pretty quickly. Here are other shots I got of nudibranchs. Okay, I did a bunch of research and reading on nudibranchs, and I found out some cool stuff about them. They're sea slugs that lose their shells when they're young, and they have external gills, which are these weird looking things sticking out of their backs flapping around in the water. The word nudibranch was derived from the fact they have these external gills. Nudis is Latin for naked, and branchia is Greek for gills. I found three types of nudibranchs on my dive. The Spanish shawl, Hopkins rose, and Porter's chromodorid nudibranch. The Spanish shawl is blue with orange gills, and those two things sticking out of its head aren't eyes, they're chemoreceptors. They detect what chemicals are in the water. This is Hopkins Rose. Like the Spanish shawl, it's got crazy colored gills completely covering its back, but this time they're pink. Porter's Chromodora nudibranch looks a bit different. It has a back that's mostly flat. It still has external gills, but they're small and located near the end of its back. Some slugs look like nudibranchs, but aren't. Look at this yellow umbrella slug I found. It has an umbrella-like shell it keeps for its whole life. So even though it looks like a nudibranch, its shell tells us it's not. Other sea slugs look nothing like nudibranchs. Take a peek at the sea hare. Some are literally the size of a basketball. They're big and fat and not vibrantly colored. I noticed these sea hares were protecting their eggs, which look like spaghetti, which is gross. All right, so quick recap. Nudibranchs are almost always vibrantly colored. They never have a shell, always have external gills, and are usually very small, but not always. 